Okay, so we've had one pin fall out, and then uh, we've got another one here that we're going to, we've got a pin track infection happening. These pins were probably put in about a month ago, right? What's been going on here? Basically, you've been having some pus draining out of yes, both sir. pins? Yes, sir. All right, and then while you were, you had both pins in, so one of the, one of, one of these uh, pins was being expelled and actually came out while you were here in the ER, and uh, so we're going to, uh, we've talked to the plastic surgery and we're going to go ahead and uh, the hand specialist and we're going to go ahead and pull out this other one. Okay, so I have a, actually I have a student working with me here and he's going to talk to me a little bit about K wires or Kirshner wires while he's cleaning here and then we're going to pull this out. So tell us a little bit about when so, the, so the K wires have been in use for quite a long time. Uh, first popularized by Dr. Kirshner, uh, hence the K and K wire. Um, who popularized them around the year 1909, uh, very commonly used in orthopedic surgery and in veterinary surgery. Uh, essentially it's a sharpened pin, so it's sharpened down at the point that's down into the bone and they're used for um, internal fixation of uh, fractures. Bone fragments. Bone yeah. fragments, thank yeah. you. So what potential? Common, common complications that you can see with uh, K wires are infections along the track site uh, you can also have a uh, loss of fixation uh, of the pin. Um, they can come out or they can backtrack, so to speak, they along the side. They can back out, yeah. They can um, or can, they can actually go sort of too far in. So they can migrate in and actually go places you don't want them to go, like blood vessels and things like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Indeed. All right. And they can break off. That's that's the other potential issue there. So, so right. uh, we're first going to try and uh, pull this out uh, manually, just with um, some uh, force, traction. Okay. Traction force along the vector of the pin, and if that doesn't work, we have some uh, gripping uh, needle drivers here that we will apply to the pin and okay. uh, give some more uh, force. Right. So, here we go. You ready? And you can wiggle it, so. Is it giving any at all? So why don't you go ahead and get a needle driver, and then that will uh, let you then, then you can start loosening right. it up and, and yeah, so wiggling it back. That part would be the hardest part because it's in the bone. Yeah. You okay? Is it hurting you very bad? Okay. It's not hurting them. Here, why don't you, why don't you move? Here, let's do this. You come around. So you get a better... So oh, that's just, a better angle. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, right, right. I agree. And start working it around. Twisting back and forth there. You can work, you can wig a little bit more there. Yeah. I just don't want to break it off, but just get a good grip on it. There you go. Nice job. Did that hurt very much? It hurt a little bit coming out. Okay, let's see if we got any, any punch there. Let's try to express some. See if anything comes out. Let me just grab a little uh, pad just so we can wipe it. Has it, has it stopped hurting now? Or it aches a little bit still? It aches a little bit, okay. There's okay, some purulence coming out. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a tad. So we're going to be sending him out on some antibiotics, and we're going to actually go ahead and splint um, this this fracture, this boxer's fracture. Hey, these videos end up on YouTube, and you guys are okay with that? Okay. And so we're going to, we're going to go ahead and splint your hand um, then you're going to see the plastic surgery specialist in um, um, in one day. All right, so we'll, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Why don't we'll why don't we clean that off a little bit and a little bit more and sure. And then uh, we'll probably put some antibiotic ointment on top of that too. Is there a trip old? I will get some. Okay. And then we'll we'll come back and do a. 
a uh, splint on this uh, like boxers type fracture. So, all right. So you got kind of a 90-90 molding on that thing there. So, and, and again, the bone's good and stable. This is just for temporary protection until he can get in to see the plastic uh, surgery attending who did the original Kirshner wires. So good job.